now we are going to proceed to see what is the advanced css when we talk about in advanced css then there will come the layout the layout play a very big role into any web application because this it's not like when you go for the job also there is a job for ui developer okay it is also there it's not like that the ui cannot ux ux developer that is also there web developer so the layout is very important because layout only give the very easy navigation on the portal and the users can easily visit from one link to another link in this we will be talking about what is the normal flow positioning element floating elements we will be constructing multiple column layouts various approaches to the css layout then we'll talking about the responsive designs and css frameworks now in the layout when we talk about in the layout in layout you have the first one that is uh, about the normal flow what is the meaning of normal flow when we talk about okay actually this will refers how the browser is going to be normally display the block level element okay when you are defining the block level elements how it is going to display on the browser and inline elements okay from left to right whenever you define obviously inline element from left to right and top to bottom right so the moment you design display the blocks obviously when you write the content it's always from top to bottom and left to right by default and this how it's going to be display that is actually your normal flow of any in css or you can say html when we talk about just now we heard a term called block level what is the block level element the block element block level elements is nothing it's like a whatever you use paragraph division tag heading tag an order list tag table element this all content on their own line right so you will be writing in the paragraph whatever the content you can fill in the online because the block level begins with the line break right and these two block level elements can exist in the same line as we see in the this picture you can see here right whenever you are going to do the block level what is meaning of very simple block level is it's a block right that means when you define the h1 definitely there will be a closing tag either you define like this way or either you define like this way. both is called considered as a block one so both are block level even when you define the paragraph even paragraph having the block level even division tag having the sum block even if you define h2 this is also block level but this is going to be even you can write in the next line also but it's considered as a block same way paragraph these elements are called as block level element how you want to display in the browser that is actually your normal flow now when we talk about the inline elements what is the inline element that means the inline elements do not form their own block but instead of that that will displayed within the line that means it will be not having like uh, how you are using the paragraph rather tag okay it will they, they don't have their own blocks okay then how it will be there the normal text in html document whenever you define a text right that is inline the actual text and the elements 
such as when you use the elements in the text like em right then anchor tag image tag span tag these tags are it will be used in html and the inline elements line up next to one another horizontally from left to right obviously when you write the code right so i'm writing the code right like this way paragraph okay when you're writing the paragraph now you want to give some anchor tag right so you are writing next to like this anchor tag right and something something whatever you want then linking and then again closing the anchor tag and then again you are going to close the paragraph tag so what do you happen how you are writing you are writing the elements horizontally either you can write like this way or you can write like this from top to bottom also but what is happening you are writing from left to right right once this is filled you will go again next line so next like this one and when there is not enough space left on the line the content moves to the new line obviously when you have till here if you reach automatically if there is no space it will come to the next line that is actually your inline elements when we talk about the inline elements we have actually two types one is the replaced inline element and another one is non replaced inline elements what is the replaced inline element in this element that means in replaced whose content and thus appearance is defined by some external source that means when you are taking the source from somewhere that means outside from the code right that means like image right then what happen this will be considered as a replaced in line elements the content which you are going is going to be appearance okay the appearance is defined by some external resource like image when you are you are going to use the image tag obviously you are using src right and uh, then you are going to write the tag right that means you are taking from outside so that is your replaced inline element when we talk about the non replaced inline element the content defined within the document document means what that means your html document the complete html page which include all other inline elements except this all will be considered as a your non replaced inline elements in a document with normal flow right when you use a documents so normal flow the block level elements and inline elements will work together okay as i mentioned block level will flow from top to bottom and inline will flow from left to right let's see in the pictorial presentation you can see here right when you are defining h1 right when i want to define h1 and you are going to give some span right so you can see that this is your block level but when you are writing the text obviously you will writing the text from left to right right so this is actually your inline element the same when next line also you are writing some text some image something and then when it's get ended you will go to the next line so this is your called as your inline element and blocked element same way for the division also you can see that main division you are writing h2 text you have written text you have written till here now it's getting filled you will write next line next line like this way this is your block and inline elements are together and it is possible to change whether an element is block level or inline yes we can do how we can do that will be done with help of css display property then you have to apply the css rule into your code now how you can do that when you want to define then let's see here we have two css rule what are they span display block so just now we saw that 
span will be in inline right and li is actually block right but what happened here i have changed here now a span is going to be block level element and list element is going to be changed into the inline you can see here in the previous diagram see your li tag right you are using here so it is block level right you will write here again here here block level. but you are writing in inline only right so you can change so this two rule will make a span element we have like a block level element and li elements like inline elements right so this when you apply everything you can do with help of css it's a very beautiful like how you do the photoshop designing or paint the same thing can be done with help of css it's a very powerful 